Philip Reese, and then someone else to close uh, who is so funny, I've completely forgotten who it is, but I'm going to find their name. So that's all good. Uh, I'll, I'll go David Thomas, aka David Thomas. All right, start the clapping, put on some of the Ladies and gentlemen, hi, my name is Phil. I am 42, living on the border of Windsor, just near the Royals. Luckily, not too close to Andrew anymore. And I am well into my midlife crisis. A couple of clues about that midlife crisis. So I've started going on cruises. Um, this is a real reason for the jacket, it's not just for you wonderful people. I've also started buying and uh, Nearly complete now. The entire little power tool collection. <laughs> Very impressive. Got the last one yesterday. And I was going to buy a Chelsea tractor. Unfortunately, though, couldn't afford it. So I bought a slough plow. <laughs> Which is uh, sad for me. Cause it means I have to admit to you, lovely people, that I live in slough. Something most people wouldn't admit to. A little bit like saying you drive a Skoda. Not as bad as it used to be, but it's always going to be considered a bit shit. <laughs> okay, so, um, here you go. You can see the jacket, a little bit about this lovely face in front of me as well. I um, have what I like to describe as a disproportionate face. I've grown into it over the years, but I've got quite large ears. If I turn this way, quite a large nose. If I turn this way, it's still just as big, to be fair. Um, and quite a high hairline, which I get from my dad. Apparently, I get my hairy legs from my mum. <laughs> um, I think she's not here to hear that joke. She might not appreciate it. Um, but a little bit about that lovely hairline of my dad's. So he spent years, I mean, after years, keeping his hairline kind of in place with a little bit of a, shh, shh, little bit of a hairspray. Keep it where it needs to be. Now, that would be great, and I've got a question for him that he's never answered to this day. But he always kept that spray, that hairspray, next to the rest of the cleaning product. Two minutes! Thank you. Please don't come just yet. This is a really important part of the story. So... <laughs> <laughs> one one. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so, he would keep that spray <coughs> right in the cleaning products. And more than once, he would accidentally grab the French polish. <laughs> Doesn't keep your hair in place, but you smell amazing. <laughs> uh, okay, so, anyone here in the room been to Amsterdam? <laughs> anyone walked the streets of Amsterdam and found the condom in Ria? No? Last week I got a yes for the first time. Okay, so. Didn't get me the condom, so he's interested, he's intrigued. The condom Maria is a small shop back streets of Amsterdam, and they sell nothing but condoms. Different shapes, different sizes, different colours. But one... Two gongs! Two gongs, okay. Your mate's the third gong, so go do it, you want. I should have saved that when you come back. <laughs> so, I might go straight after this one anyway, it might be safer. Uh, this shop sells vegan condoms. Now, I know, it's not, you know, vegans in the room, I'm all for veganism. But my question is, is a vegan condom ever going to be 100% meat free? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not probably going to get any better laugh than the rest of my show. So, <laughs> I might leave it right there. Thank you very much, you've been amazing. Okay, welcome back, David Thomas, for fun. Bye!